Welcome back. Now we'll be taking a look at those two roles that were mentioned earlier. First up is the sewer and leaf analytic service. Let's go check it out. Bula, my name is uh, Doreen Pillay and I'm the Senior Scientific Officer at the Sugar Research Institute of Fiji. Now, this cane analysis is a very integral part of our research institute. Um, uh, these are the research trials being carried out by our um, research uh, and the scientific team at uh, DRASA. So what happens is um, we receive the cane samples from the uh, various uh, research trials and then it's undergone um, a chemical process uh, so that we are able to know the uh, purity of the cane samples. Now in that process, we have, when we receive the cane samples, we grind the cane samples. And after grinding, then we have to weigh a certain amount of it. And then that uh, weighed amount uh, is then uh, extracted for juice. And then that juice analysis is further filtered using um, chemicals. And then the reading is taken on the polarimeter uh, instrument so that we are able to know the purity of the uh, cane samples. Now, how does this uh, affect our work? After knowing the purity of the cane samples, then we are able to determine whether that particular variety that was in the field uh, will give us that maximum sugar output so that uh, the, the mila is on a uh, beneficial side of it. So um, we carry out uh, soil uh, uh, sampling in the field. Now, uh, this is also a very critical uh, part of our research because uh, that will further determine on the 
soil results or the soil recommendation that we generate uh, specifically for the farmers. Now, uh, the sampling bit is very critical because it will help uh, determine the soil health or the nutrient status of the soil. So the sampling that uh, we carry out needs to be done very thoroughly. There is a procedure that we follow uh, in carrying out these sa soil samples. Now that pattern we follow is a zigzag pattern whereby we take core samples, uh, each core sample is taken and then it is thoroughly mixed to come up with a uh, composite, sam composite sample. And that composite sample we can say will represent or will be a representative um, of the entire field that has been sampled. Now after uh, the sampling, the soil is uh, properly labelled uh, whereby we enter the uh, sector, the farm number, the date it was collected and who was the collector. The sample is then brought to the analytical lab where it is further dried for one or two days and then grinded and then uh, depending on the um, analysis that we would like to carry out, we weigh it separately. Now we carry out uh, pH analysis uh, and in order to do this we weigh around 4 grams of the sample and uh, then it is uh, the reading is taken on the pH meter. Now we would uh, want to know the pH of that soil so that if the pH is less than 5.5 then we can uh, recommend the farmer the amount of lime that he only needs to uh, put in. And the purpose of our lime recommendation is so that the nutrient status or the soil pH comes up to the level of 5.5 so that the nutrient uptake by the plant is uh, readily available. So if you're watching this and you're interested in a soil test, do contact the SRF. And if you do get your soil tested, just remember the quality of your results all depends on the soil type that you submit. After this break, we'll be jumping into the next row, which is pest and disease. Don't go anywhere, all that after this break.